Evening, Gary Smith, Andrew Dunlishan. Uh, I think congratulations on, on a nil-nil draw in the FA Cup third qualifying round at home to Hereford today. But guys, that was a fantastic advert for the FA Cup and for Tamworth FC. Yeah, um, fantastic game to play in. Obviously, you know the hype and the magic of the FA Cup, and with it being a home game as well. Um, and with the opposition that we were playing, obviously, you know there was going to be a lot of hype around this game. Um, with them being from a higher league and also having like a good history, good pedigree behind them as a football club. So it was a great occasion, um, good advert for the FA Cup, like you said. Um, and obviously, you know, we're in the hat for the next round, but we haven't got the result we wanted. You know, we go back and with a replay on Tuesday, but ultimately proud of every single one of the boys in the changing room for a fantastic performance and, a, and another fantastic shift. That's what they've put in today. Andrew, we couldn't quite force it over the line, unfortunately, but we were the more likely as the game wore on. Um, it just wasn't to be. Yeah, I, I, I thought that um, when you sort of get in behind their defence a couple of times, um, Ahmed Obeng um, got in behind their defence and the touch just ran away from him. Um, he, was, he was in front of goal. Uh, Dan Crean, another great ball for Dan. Uh, got him behind the defence, I just think if that falls with, with Gans technique in and around the goal that um, we, we go 1-0 up um, and then right at the end there, Bilal, um, he's, had a, he's had a shot after looking at the sort of uh, replay, a shot which has been blocked which looked like it's going into the far corner. Um, but it was, it was a really tight game, um, we had the better of the chances I thought um, and, and they made it sort of scrappy if you like at times but it, it's one of them where you, you would maybe a little bit of a rub of the green and one of them chances would have went in. Yeah, it just wasn't quite to be today, was it? Um, so we have to do it all again on Tuesday evening now, away at Edgar Street. Um, I'm sure Hereford now know what we're all about. And, um, and they're going to have to be at their best to beat us. Yeah, definitely. I mean, obviously, we've, <coughs> we've evaluated everything that they do. And we've prepared for them as we normally prepare for every game anyway. Um, they now know what we are like, um, and they know that we're gonna we're gonna be there and be thereabouts with them for the whole duration of the game. So it's gonna be another another battle. Um, I don't know if they'll change their tactics and play a different style of football. Who knows? But we'll go there with the same um, enthusiasm and desire that the boys have shown today, and we'll go for it again. Okay, but obviously, you're pleased with the performance, as you said, from the lads today. As the game wore on, particularly in the, the second half as it went on, it looked like Tamworth were the team that would get the goal, that vital goal, and it felt all game that it would just be one goal that would be enough to, to get the result either way. But as I say, the longer it went on, it seemed like Tamworth would get it, Andrew. Yeah, I agree. Um, we, we did something before the game where we sort of read out the history of some of the players that we've got. Um, and I, as, as Tom actually mentioned, that. We've got a lot of lads in there who've played at a, a decent level of football of Conference, Conference North. Um, so we, we've got lads with experience who've sort of been around the block. Um, their desire and application is, is phenomenal. Um, they've got a will to win. Um, all the credit's got to go for the players. You can have sort of a plan. Um, but their desire today to compete with a team what does play in the I League, I thought was great. I agree with you. I thought we got on top of the game in the second half. Um, and, and again, I don't know, that's, that's fitness and desire and quality that we've got in our team um, after, after weathering the storm, if you like, of the, the bombardment of aerial balls. Um, but no, I'm really, I'm really proud of them and what they've shown today because it's one thing doing it on the training ground and taking it out onto the pitch. So all the credit, I thought the back four was tremendous today. Um, I thought in front of them, the two older midfielders was organised and diligent in what they did. Um, I thought that the front three at times showed bits. Um, they've got more about them, but they showed bits and worked tirelessly. Um, and I was happy for everyone and the subs what come on even as well added and brought something to the game, um, which shows sort of the strength and depth that we've got. Really Absolutely. proud of the boys. I had a, a moment of reflection today when I was commentating on the radio and it just kind of came into my head that we had that awful performance against Bromsgrove Sporting a few weeks back. But in a way, it seemed like we kind of needed that because we've been galvanised by it and we've really turned things around as a club in recent weeks. But what do you guys, what, what do you put that down to? Just the sheer hard work on the training ground and the, the fact that the boys are prepared to put a shift in and work hard for each other. Um, they're a fantastic bunch um, and they're all together, they're working hard together. And, a lot of that credit, like Andrew said before, has to go to the players because at the end of the day, yeah, we can train them and you know set them up for how we want to play. Once they cross the white line, it's totally up to them, and they're the ones that are actually doing the business on the park. So um, a lot of that credit has to go to them. 
Well, we're in the hat for the next round come Monday's draw. We've got the replay Tuesday evening to look forward to. And let's hope we can go to Edgar Street and get a result and Lambs Media will catch up with you after the game. Thank you for your time. Looking forward to it.